Ahoy hoy. I'm Planner Walk. Now, have you ever heard someone say something that's just so mind-numbingly stupid that you have to say to them, Look, can you just say that again? But think about what you're saying this time. I have. And there is one flat earther argument, which is basically that. So the flat earther argument goes something like this. The sun's rays, crepuscular rays, seem to diverge from a point just above the clouds. So therefore, the sun is just above the clouds. This just doesn't work. You can take the flat earth model and disprove this. Using the flat earth model. That's why it's something that's just so stupid. So I'm going to use the flat earth model to prove that that does not prove flat earth. You fu- So first we've got this. How high does a plane fly? It flies at 39,000 feet, which is just over 7 miles. That's pretty easy. Now, if you take into account that most planes fly just above the clouds. Now, some clouds can reach a height of 50,000 feet in the air, which is about 9 miles, just over 9 miles. That's pretty simple. Now... I've got a question for you flat earthers. How far away from the earth do you think the sun is? You obviously don't think it's 93 million miles away. Spoilers. It is. But you think that it's 10 miles away, right? Surely. If, if the clouds can get up to 9 miles high and the sun is only just above the clouds, surely it, the sun must be 10 miles away. Maybe a bit more, maybe 12 miles away. Maybe 15 miles away? At most, 20, surely. And surely the sun would only be about one mile in diameter, right? Well, if you actually go and look at what flat earth experts have to say, the sun's actually about 3,000 miles away. Yeah, that... That's a long way away. So you know how the clouds are about nine miles away? That does not work. I've got a diagram here which shows you exactly how you'd expect it to look. The green is the ground. The grey is the clouds. And it shows you where the sun is. That little blue dot there that you see, that is your about six mile area that you can see. Generally. Sometimes it can be about 8 miles or depending how high you are. Now this diagram shows the sun being about a thousand miles away. And that's because of how inconsistent the results that I get are for when you go and search how far away the sun is from the earth. Some people say 2.5 thousand miles away. Some people say 3,000 miles away. And some people say that it's 1.5 thousand miles away. I've not gone and done this research myself, because I know that the Earth is a globe, but this is just research that flat earthers have done, and it's just completely inconsistent. So I went with the result that places the sun closer to Earth. Now, you're trying to tell me that crepuscular rays prove that the Earth is flat. If you still say that after watching this video, after seeing that diagram, because that diagram is to scale. It just shows you how, how much critical thinking you lack. You see, if you lack the critical thinking to challenge your own ideas, I have a problem with that. Science is not about just picking an idea and going with it. Science is thinking critically about these ideas. If you can't think critically about your ideas, then that makes you a fucking moron. Leave a like and subscribe if you like this video. Leave a comment if there's any other arguments you hear from Flat Earthers which are just plain contradictory or don't make sense. There are other arguments I'm going to address. One of which, to me, it proves that the Earth is a globe. Now, I can't do this thing right now because it's night. It, it's funny how I make a video about the sun at night. <laughs> but anyway, I'll see you. In the next video. Between you and me, thank you for watching.